Good morning, I'm Dr. Stephen McKee. I'm the president of Lab Tech International and the president emeritus of World Didact Global Association for Education. I'm very pleased to be with you here today to discuss about Industry Revolution 4.0 and I'd like to talk about the impact that is having on education combined with COVID-19 situation over this last year. These two factors are turning out to be some of the largest twin drivers on educational change that we're facing around the world. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about Introduce Lab Tech, that we're one of the um, oldest and the largest technical vocational education companies that design technical training systems for uh, technical institutes and polytechnics and vocational high schools. We believe in adapting education to each country's needs and also that we design training systems to be uh, to address areas of employable skills training. We're also well known for our, our digital learning uh, systems in TVET, that, which we call the virtual TVET uh, program that a number of you may even already be using. We produce over 1,000 physical training systems as well as the interactive 3D digital content in seven technology areas that would cover about 40 trades. This would be in automotive, air conditioning, and refrigeration, or HVAC, electronics, computer, uh, IT technology, biomedical, green technology, electrical uh, technology too as, as well. Over the last 30 years we've supplied over 85 countries around the world. These are indicated by the blue areas and we're also doing current digital uh, training programs in the US, Peru, Colombia, South Africa, Jordan, Pakistan, India, Malaysia, Thailand, and the Philippines. I'd like to ask you to keep your eye on World Didact's uh, agenda here over the next uh, uh, period of 2021. In the second half, we have a number of events that are, that are occurring in conferences. You can look at these URLs here and check on those at any time and uh, sign up for the, for the future events that, uh, that we're having uh, for World Didact. So getting to IR 4.0, we've covered a lot of these things before over the past few years, and I think everybody is well acquainted with what IR 4.0 is, and we're looking at what the impact would have. Actually, about a year and a half ago, we did a, a session for the ADB at their uh, skills forum in Manila in 2019 in August, and World Didact uh, uh, helped co-organize that session on IR 4.0. In fact, many of our panels here today were at that uh, session in Manila in 2019. We wrote a very, very nice uh, report uh, on this uh, that I co-authored, and I'd, I'd love to share that with you. This is a wonderful event platform that we're using, and we have limited time today. So I think to, it's more about sharing things with you and getting you started and to providing information for the, your further use. So you can download this report, go to the handouts area, click on that, and there's actually several things there for you. So what I'd like to share with you today is about the second wave of globalization, as I call it, that is happening about IR 4.0. Um, its challenges, disruptions. Many of these factors, everything that I have up here at the page, we've been talking about before. Economies are changing, increase in automation, changing growth sectors, uh, shifting manufacturing locations, new jobs, shifting jobs, workers being displaced and replaced, relentless pace of change, and jobs and skills mismatch with widening gap. This gap is actually widened during COVID. Now, the yellow things are things that have been there, but what has happened with COVID is they're accelerating them. They've not slowed down, but they've actually gone faster now. The only area that has not increased is urbanization. Uh, we're looking at increased digital learning, increased online learning. We're seeing the emergence of completely digital learning institutions. And these are not always in the government sector, but often in the private sector. Micro-credentialing, skill set menu approach rather than degree focus, potential of AI to deliver truly differentiated adaptive learning, demand for education and learning is now not only being driven by industry but the individual uh, the individual's choice the individual selection the individual's needs and this is going to a new area of teaching and learning that we call hudagogy actually i also uh, sharing with you in those reports these trends that have been we've picked out that we looked at that have been highlighted from various events and reports around the world. I'm not going to show this in detail to you, but just download this and look at these you know, over your leisure then. But I would like to say that the TVET sector, the area that we've worked in, has been hit the hardest, I think, uh, because they were not prepared for this in, in any way. There's various reasons for this, and certainly, you know, TVET is complicated. It, you're teaching not only knowledge and application of knowledge, but skills that go with this. And so it's relied a lot on face-to-face -face learning. It's been slow, one of the slowest sectors to make the transition digital. However, I think digital learning can have the greatest impact 
on TVET area as well to improve it and to enhance the quality that we're that we're doing and the delivering. I mean, many many people have come to me over this last year and said, you know, Steve, remember the things that we were talking about three or four years ago? We wish that we did that then because we would be in a better position now. And and this has driven those catalysts for many of the new projects that we're working on in various countries over this last year. So there are two main issues about the second wave of globalization and COVID, the impact that it's having on education. One is that we need to train for new IR 4.0 jobs so countries can stay current with new skills and keep their industry competitive, their country competitive. We also need to train for those who are displaced and replaced and whose industries or economic sectors have been greatly affected by the downturn that has accompanied the COVID uh, pandemic. Many of these jobs may not be coming back. Uh, they may be fewer jobs in the future going forward in those sectors uh, than there were before. And so this makes a problem for education because we need to retrain these people. And this leads us into more of adult education focus for uh, education systems around the world than it has had uh, in, the, in the past. So. As we move forward, we must find ways to use technology in, in ways that make a positive impact on learning, not just using Zoom you know, for personal face-to-face -face learning using digital technology, but using technology in ways that do learning in different ways. They're adapted to the students' needs, that engage them, uh, that have interaction, let them uh, grow personally through these experiences. And so, you know, our goals should be that we should apply basically IR 4.0 lessons that industry is using to apply to learning, which comes arises a new generation of interactive and digital learning that's actually happening around the world, uh, such as the Lab Tech Academy approach. Uh, these are all things that we can do and areas I think countries are moving into uh, slowly, step by step. Now, closing here, I'd like to share with you a little bit about what, what's happened recently on the, our Lab Tech Academy, our virtual TVET program. It's now being used, uh, the public site, in 156 countries around the world. We also include real-time translation features. And what is continuing to be amazing is the results that uh, of our learners on here. These scores are based on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the perfect score. And we're finding that as we administer pre-tests and post-tests, uh, to the students. We're learning a lot about how they learn and we're doing this for the point of view of improving uh, systematically data-driven improvements and how we can improve learning across the platform but we're getting incredible results of people coming from about a four or five and going all the way up close to a ten. Now this is not your best students. These are class averages. That means a lot of the learners are having 100% scores and that's wonderful for technical vocational education because this is very much needed. They need to understand the material and they need it so that they can apply it effectively too. And this is nothing short of transformational uh, that you can get these types of results and we do not see this with the old style of teaching and learning. So this is where it's proving that using digital learning in its effective ways can actually improve learning and save costs and improve time because these students can do this off campus. They do not have to be on campus uh, to do that. So the aims of Virtual TVIT, in our uh, opinion, is that we improve comprehension retention, which is transformational. It frees up the teacher's time so they no longer have to do repetitive and tedious things, but could focus on doing skills uh, development and mentoring of the students' abilities. It reduces times and lowers costs by maybe up to as much as 50 to 75 percent over traditional methods. And it also gives a flexible learning pathway. So we go from pedagogy to andragogy to hudagogy, which is self-demand, self-driven, self-motivated, uh, adaptive, dif differentiated learning that uh, looks at what the student needs out of these things here. So we'd just like to share with you then also, this is one of the projects that we've done recently for Toyota Motor Corporation, where we fused our hybrid digital learning with their physical things. This is a brand new uh, Toyota Prius that is just going on display in one of the Toyota learning centers that they're just setting up in Jakarta in Indonesia. And that kind of give you an idea of the technology level that we're working at in LabTech. So we'd like to leave you with that. Uh, please come and contact us at our booth. Let's talk about digital framework. We could do a workshop for your institution or your country, your ministry, about adapting digital learning to each country's needs. And so this is very important to have a framework to go forward so that you do it in a systematic and effective way. And this is one of the things that we've developed over the last year is one of the toolkits uh, that can help you. So come by and see us 
at our booth, at our table. Come talk to us and let's see what we could do together to improve education. And don't hesitate to ask me any questions. I'm here uh, online at the event and I wish you a very good day. Thank you very much.